Hello everyone! Just a few days ago, back on October 6, we saw some video footage that was released, and this was in Portland, Oregon, in my very own city. Now, the video footage, you start seeing Antifa literally directing traffic, threatening citizens with violence if they don't obey to their rules. Next, the footage shows an older man that is driving towards Antifa when all of a sudden he goes to make a right turn, and then all hell breaks loose. Once you go against Antifa, they will try to ruin you. And, you know, if you're going against something that they oppose, then you're seen as a traitor through their eyes. Antifa now starts calling this man a whitey, a white supremacist. They're screaming, they're yelling names at this man. I mean, all because he's simply just trying to get somewhere in his car. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't deserve that. But instead, they're literally yelling things at him. This is not protesting. This is harassment to the innocent that do not deserve this. And we should not be tolerating this in our city. We shouldn't put up with it for people that want to do this mob mentality kind of behavior. I've been following up on the story for a few days and there's some really shocking news that came out this morning that I just find rather disturbing. Several articles stated that the Portland police are actually going to charge the driver with crimes when he was just trying to escape from an angry mob of people that had weapons on them, God knows what kind of weapons actually, and they also had batons on them, you could see that in the video. I am just really confused on why the Portland police and our mayor, Ted Wheeler, don't want people to be able to flee and escape from dangerous situations. That's like number one. You have to be able to protect yourself properly and be able to defend yourself. And if you're not able to defend yourself, you have to flee. What on earth am I supposed to do if I'm driving and all of a sudden an angry mob comes after me? Am I just going to sit there and do nothing? Screw that. I'm going to try leaving just like the old man did because people are crazy and you don't know what they're going to do in situations like that. Has Portland, Oregon always been like this? No and yes. Well, Portland, Oregon is the most weirdest city in America. They literally have banners throughout the city that says, Keep Portland Weird. It's actually a really popular uh, slogan throughout the whole entire city, too. So it's always been pretty open for all kinds of protesting. As years go by, I believe the protesters are getting out of control. There's more violence that's in the city now. There's cars that are being broken into. You have businesses that are being harassed and this is just not good. Portland is the new Berkeley in the making. Berkeley is a much more terrifying place, but I can definitely see some resemblances between the two cities. To put it this way, Berkeley has destroyed their own city by allowing Antifa to run the streets, and when you do that, you're literally just sacrificing it all. So if you go to like San Francisco Bay Area, you're going to start seeing restaurants and businesses that have the Antifa sign in their window or they have something that's like related to like the left party so that they don't get their windows bashed in. Because of course, if they're representing, oh my god, if they're representing like Trump or anything to do with the Republican Party, then like right away first day that sign would be up it would be bashed in. Antifa in Portland hasn't gone that far yet to the point where they're actually like targeting and harassing businesses. They're not bashing any windows in unless it's like a crazy protest that's happened a few times but what they are doing is they're targeting cars. They're targeting cars that have any resemblance to anything with like the Republican side or if it's like Trump supporting, then they're going to end up, you know, putting graffiti on your car. They'll try bashing your windows in. Or even there's been a situation where a car was set on fire. 
As for the street battles that we're seeing in Portland or the street battles that we're seeing in Berkeley, you know, I think that they're going to get a lot worse. I think they're going to get a lot worse because the police aren't doing their jobs or the mayors aren't doing their jobs. They're telling the police what to do, whatever. Either way, nothing is getting resolved. And when you have a mob of people that are on the streets that are just, you know, using violence as some sort of tactic to get what they want, then we have a huge problem. So they're just going to continue. Society is not free when you have groups like Antifa running your city. There's been countless incidents where people have been severely hurt and has even led to someone being beaten to death. If you have to use force to spread public awareness for your little anti-fascist movement, then you're clearly in the wrong. What you're doing is immoral. You're trying to dictate how people talk how people drive, and what people are basically doing. You want to control how people live their lives. This is not a game anymore. I've seen groups like this rise in Australia, in Europe, and many other places throughout other countries in the world. And now this is happening here in America, land of the free. And that's just not going to go on because we do not accept this kind of criminal behavior. All in all, I really do try to be an optimist about all of this, but it's just really hard to ignore the correlation when it's so easy to connect the dots. One can only hope that it might get better, but in the meantime, we just have to hope and just kind of wait and see how this all plays out. But if you're in a dangerous situation in Portland, and the situation is unpoliced, then please reach out to our mayor with complaints so that he can know that we're not okay with this. Remember everyone, your voice isn't heard if you don't speak up to begin with. That's all I have for tonight, but stay tuned for more videos.